Who doesn't love a great success story? But what's most fascinating to me is the story behind that success. Conductor Roderick Cox is living one of those great stories, raised in the musical mecca of Macon by a single mom. He had lots of potential, just not a lot of resources. And just like it takes more than one instrument to make an orchestra, it takes more than just one person to create a great conductor. To understand where Roger Cox developed his passion for music, you have to start here. At church. Just being surrounded by a lot of music. My mom was in the choir at Bethany Seventh-day Adventist Church, and I had to sit in the choir rehearsals, and, and I very much enjoy hearing music uh, coming from the choir loft uh, every every Saturday morning. Cox is a long way from those Saturday morning services. He's been conducting in Germany since 2018. We talked over Zoom about his musical development in Macon. I felt very fortunate to be a part of the Macon uh, public school system when I felt there was a strong emphasis on music and music education. Cox started off on the snare drum in elementary school. He was part of Central High School's marching band in the early 2000s and eventually moved to the French horn. Cox remembers when Zelma Redding with the Otis Redding Foundation agreed to buy him his first French horn for college. It was like Christmas day because I got to go to, uh, I remember Valdosta, Georgia to an instrument shop and there were I was surrounded um, with, with a number of French horns. I think Roderick, what makes him so special is his determination. Um, and he's a lot like my dad. You can't, you can't put him in a box because he's African-American. And my dad was that way. Like, I'm not doing this for color. I'm doing this because this is the passion that I have. And I think that's what my mom saw in him. It was in college at Columbus State University when Cox, the French horn player, decided to become Cox, the conductor. It's very hard to explain in words the, the, the all-encompassing feeling that, um, and fulfillment that one gets when leading an orchestra through a performance. Cox studied conducting at Northwestern University, graduating in 2011. He found more than a love for music. He discovered its power to move the soul and the body. I, I got to study music um, at, at Oxford University for um, their study abroad program and, and traveled to Barcelona and to study conducting along with the Czech Republic to study conducting all through the help of the Otis Rabbit Foundation. The basic notes to nurture a dream, and with everyone playing their part, can cascade into a crescendo of success. It's not far-fetched to, to dream big, um, but a dream has to be backed up through execution and planning. And you can't do it alone. Not just parents, but supporters and different angels who come in your life um, to, to help to help you along your path. The Boys and Girls Club in Macon was also instrumental in Cox's development. Leaders there reached out to the Otis Redding Foundation on his behalf. And Roderick Cox is now helping other young musicians through his Roderick Cox Music Initiative. Carla Redding Andrews says Cox will be honored with the Zelma and Otis Redding Award of Respect during the Macon Bicentennial Celebration this fall.